this methodology can be used to uh, provide accurate inventories uh, of mammal communities up in the trees. So I suppose what I mean by that is that usually if we go to a site, we, our traditional method is to do transects from the ground, so people just walking along on the trails, uh, maybe doing time transects in the morning and uh, maybe just incidentally sort of spotting things. But it's, it's unbelievably difficult with uh, rainforest mammals and people have been using camera traps for, for years now, for a couple of decades, for terrestrial species because they're so secretive. So why not the arboreal ones? Like why did we just decide to sort of ignore that? You know, we think we know a lot about it, like I published a, a paper that was mainly based on terrestrial patterns uh, a couple of months ago. We kind of talk about like 87 percent of biodiversity, primary forest biodiversity being in this forest, but that's based on most of the terrestrial survey methods. So we've kind of touched the tip of the iceberg really, fully understanding what, what's going on in this, this region and uh, landscape. So there's still species to find and I think the cameras can start to help us understand why species are, are using different areas. There's a whole lot more to learn. <laughs> one for me from this this paper was the, the little pygmy anteater. Uh, I'd all, I've always wanted to see one and I've still never seen one so it kind of cuts me up a little bit but it's this tiny little anteater and they're absolutely beautiful and obviously there's been people working at the MLC for over 10 years now doing research. Nobody had ever recorded this anteater in over 10 years. So we had those cameras out for three months and we had two videos of uh, the pygmy anteater one and I couldn't believe it when we brought them in. So, you know, adding a new a new mammal to, to a species list in a place that's had over ten years of research was quite uh, incredible, and it does show the the power of uh, camera traps in the trees as a methodology. Wow.